Let me show you how to fix an error when running Codex. If you run Codex, you might end up with something like this, where it says sh is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. Now, the reason you're getting this is I guess Codex runs sh when it starts up. If we go to the Codex GitHub, we can see that it is saying that Git is optional, but recommended. I think it's actually required because part of the problem is that sh is packaged within Git. So all we have to do is install Git and then add it to our path and and we'll be able to run this command. So if you go to git-scm.com forward slash downloads, you'll come to the downloads page and all we have to do is click on downloads for Windows. Next, just click on click here to download. Now it should download an installation file so we can click open file. And once it opens up, we can go through the whole installation process. For this whole setup wizard, all of the defaults are perfectly fine for me. You may want to audit it a little bit, look through it, see if you like certain things. A lot of things may not make sense. So I will just hit next on every single single page until it finally installs. Okay, so now once it installs, we can hit finish. And then there's one more thing that we have to do. We need to add the bin folder to our path environment variable. So we need to edit our system environment variables. To do that, hit the Windows key and type in environment. You'll then want to click on or hit enter on edit the system environment variables. You'll get a new window and down here in the bottom right, we can click on this environment variables button. From here at the bottom with the system variables, we go to the path variable and double click on it. It opens up a new screen and at the very bottom, since we just installed Git, we have this program files git cmd. We want to double click on it so it highlights the whole thing and go ahead and copy it with control C. And then in the upper right, click on new and then paste what we just copied and then backspace the cmd part of the path and then type bin, B-I-N. Once you've done that, hit enter and then hit OK and then we can hit OK again. And now if we go to our CMD, we can type codex and it will still have this issue. What we have to do is we have to close out of the command prompt and reopen it. So once we open up command prompt, we can type codex and hit enter and we can see that it ran. Now it's telling me that I have a missing open AI API key, but that's to be expected because I didn't set this environment variable. But we can see that it actually ran because we're getting this output and we're getting past that error that we got earlier. So that's how you fix SH is not an internal or external command when using codecs inside of Windows.